Okay, I looked over it a little bit. Things I don't like about it. Number one, this is a 120 30 amp. Doesn't put out 240. Um, this is just 120 also 20 amp. The same over here. The reset for them and then the reset for this one is here. Does not have a gas gauge. Tell you when you run out of fuel or anything. The wheel should have been pushed back a little more because where I come in on the door, I have to pull it up and it's basically just dragging on the rail until the wheel touch again. I already spoke about this useless piece there. That's about all the flaws. Well, the wheel doesn't look like it supports the um, thing too good. It's slightly cocked in on both sides. So, haven't um, turned it on yet. I'll see how easy start is easy start. And just got some fuel now. So, probably won't um, start it there till later because it's been raining all day. I won't be able to do work with it today anyway. It may be tomorrow. All right, I'll be back with this. Let's see what easy start means. Cold start. Let's see, cold. Should be it. My assessment garbage. That's it running. I just have it forward. Back feed it. Okay, my opinion on it. It's okay, I guess, if you just have um, something small you're doing, a cookout or something like that. To power a house, no. Um, an RV, ah, ah, I wouldn't even give it that. It makes too much noise for that. Um, the switch here, that off switch that I kept complaining about, it's actually a fuel off. I don't know why they just have off there. But at the bottom says engine and fuel. So I guess it's still basically the same thing. Um, the cold start works great. This thing here, you don't have to pull hard. It's, it cranks up. The um, restart is just if the uh, motor is already warmed up and it starts up there. Uh, it, when I shut it off, um, it was sitting for maybe three, four minutes. I put it over to run, pulled it, and it sounded like it didn't want to um, start, like it was going to stall. And I clicked it over to the cold start, and it cranked up just right, fine. And then I, I ran it back over, and that was good. What I needed, if it wasn't for the company buying this one here and usually after the job is done the guy who runs the job take the the generator this one here i'd probably just give it to uh none of my family members need any but maybe to my friends uh, a neighbor or something just give it to them if they don't have something 
it's, I would give it a one out of 10, maybe a, a three and a half, a four. That's just, it's okay. But thanks for watching.